G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. Well, it's a crappy, rainy, shitty day here in Eden and it um, was yesterday too. We had 113 mil of rain yesterday and um, another five so far this morning. So she's pretty damp underfoot. So I can't do anything outside. Um, I have made another purchase. I'm just waiting for some dry weather to come so I can shift that in here. So that'd be a good video. So I've decided to make another machinist jack. Um, this, this here is one I made some time ago. Um, this next one's going to be two stage. So it'll have, yeah, two stages come out of it. So, I've come up with a design, a bit of a drawing. Um, everything's subject to change. So I've never, yeah, this, this, this will be a good, interesting build for me. A few things I've never done here before, so it could be fun. I've got a piece of um, stainless shaft that'll be the main body. So that can get cut off to length and then um, start getting into it. Could be fun built. Six point three, so we've got to go down to thirty mil. And I'll bring you guys back when I'm hammering it down near there. So that should be. That should be thirty mil. Thirty point zero. Thirty point zero seven, which is close enough. So I'll clean up this little piece of the base here. That is warm, so it's probably going to shrink a bit too. Um, just clean up this end of the shoulder here. This is going to get cut off, obviously, and put a chamfer on that end there. Put some bit of end support in there. I may be able to neaten that up. Bit of a piss off that. Three quarter hole in here, bore forty five mil deep. I'm a thou and a half under, so I'll give that a, I didn't, I'll give that a spring pass and that hopefully should bring it up.
Oh, it feels really nice. You can see that there. Be a couple of tents over. We have four tents over. So I've decided I'm going to make the nut next. Um, so I'm going to tap the thread inside the nut, the three quarter thread, and I can machine a single point of thread to suit uh, the nut. So this has to be taken down to 30 mil, and then. Um, I'll drill it 11 sixteenths and then tap it 3 quarter sixteen. I've got no idea what this material is, just a piece of scrap. Two hour, tooth hour to go, so I'm going to leave it at that. Okay, I'll punch a hole in it now, and then uh, actually I might attempt to put a nail on it. Well, I didn't record that because it wasn't very pretty. Um, I did get a nail on it. I've really got to do something about a bit of knurling tool. Hands down, so anyway, um, the nail's on it, and I've just beveled the edges. And just run a file across the top of the knurl quickly just to take the sharpness out of it. So now I can drill it for a um, drill at 11 16th now for that three quarter thread. So. I'm going to attempt to part this off. Not the best looking nut in the world, but it's a nut. And it'll serve the purpose just nice. Okay, I've gone through my scrap bin and um, I found a piece of shaft. I believe it could be stainless. You know, it's got a bit of magnetised to it, but it might be some type of stainless anyway. It's got a fair bit of butcher mark on it, but um, it's going to have a thread on it anyway, so I'm hoping I'll be able to get away with that. But this has got to have a um, 3A24 thread through it. So I'll do that now and then I'll pull it out and then cut the, the, um, the external thread on it, the three quarter thread. So.
video um, I have to put the three quarter thread on the outside there it took a fair bit of cutting that thread it's quite deep and I think that taps getting fairly dull so it could be on the um, on the Christmas list okay I've set up to do this three quarter 16 thread um, this bit of shafts not all the best and it's a little out of random whatever but I'm hoping um, that by the time I cut the thread into it I may get away with it because it's, yeah, it's a little bit out of she's had a hard life put it that way that bit of shaft I'm waiting for a number to come around see how out of round it is I'm hoping by the time the thread goes on, I might get away with it. One can only hope. Looks pretty good to me. Can only try. This is a real bugger, this leech group, it's that fine, you've got to be so careful. In so you can see it. Now I clean it, just I ran a file over it quickly and just a bit of a brake cleaner and cleaned all the oil off it. Got a little bit of wiggle in it, but. All good. Show you here, that's what we ended up with there. It's a shallow slot. Set screw to run in to stop this from rotating while it's in the um in the body. So I can part this off to length now. Got the main body clamped up here now. Got a 3mm carbide end mill. Don't know whether you can see that there or not. Um, I'm battling to see it myself. But I'm going to put a 3mm hole through here. Um, and then I'll probably open it up just a fraction for a uh, 4mm thread. Ok, 
Okay. Get this done, eh? That's the four mil corner. Okay. Just this up like a gib, I guess. It's up tight there. Just back it off a whisker. There we go, it works. That only that grub screw don't look too bad though. Don't look out of place, I don't believe. If anything, what I should do is put another one in the very bottom here. So when it goes in, this can't come out. So keep it as a unit, then you don't lose it. If it goes in your toolbox and lays over, you don't one half that roll out, you know. It's probably not a bad idea, George. Let's do it. Can't come in. Well, for the five minutes that took, that was definitely well, well worth it. <laughs> 